Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on sequences. There's going to be a few videos on this topic. In this first one, we're going to look at finding the nth term of a linear sequence. So a linear sequence takes the nth term a n plus b. So this is a formula that describes how you move from one term to the next in a sequence. And a and b are constants that we've got to determine by looking at the sequence. So in this example, we have to find the nth term for the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 and so on and so to find the nth term the first thing that we have to do is work out the value of a now a is the common difference uh, so we get that by looking at one term and the next term so in, for instance we're going from 3 to 7 here so we're adding 4 and then we're adding 4 again to get from 7 to 11 and again and again and so on so from each term uh, to go from one term to the next uh, you're adding 4 each time so our value for a is 4 uh, so if we take the sequence here, 4n, so we substitute in values of n equals 1, n equals 2, and so on, uh, we get the sequence 4n. This gives us values of 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, and so on. Uh, now how do we get from the sequence 4n to the sequence we're given in the question? Uh, well, we have to subtract 1 from each term in the sequence 4n to get to the sequence that we were given. So 3 is 1 less than 4, 7 is 1 less than 8, 11 is 1 less than 12, and so on. So our nth term is 4n minus 1. If you want to practice some linear sequences exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong and a good way to make sure you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.